else do you know that might help me? Burn is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers. But I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets. Or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, well. I was I was really hoping. Sad news? Why is there a sad news note in here? Agatha, you can probably guess the reason for my letter. He died last night. He seemed a little better better and took some broth. Little Al even gave even got him laughing a bit, but the laughing turned to coughs. That lasted for about an hour, then it stopped real sudden, like he didn't have the strength to cough no more. Then he sort of spit up some black and more came out of his nose. I tried to get him to cough it all out. I turned to his side and slapped his back and put boiled onions on his chest. Well, that's a new one. I'm going to have to try that one out. But it weren't no use, and he died like that, eyes bulging out and that black stuff everywhere. I'm taking the children and moving back to Redmore. We ain't never should have come here in the first place. Fuck this place. We ain't never should have came here. No way. Well, that's kind of sad. What is this? It's just like a bunch of sad looking manly men just hanging around. They look pretty upset. Alright, so yeah, I really don't know how to get into the room below me. Uh, I'm not sure if there's like something down there. I thought this was going to be it for sure. I thought coming up here would allow me to like go over here and then just drop down. I thought there was going to be like a hole in the floor somewhere in here, but... It appears that I was wrong, as usual, wrong. It's all right. I'll take I'll take like one more, unless I can like get past the with the little zippy. No, the zippy doesn't work. I have no idea how to get in here. I want to look for like two seconds more. I mean, none of the things even drop that I could sell from these, like, blood fly nests. Alright, whatever. I don't know how to get in there. I kind of care, but I also kind of don't care. What is this? Hold on. A book? I don't want to read Get me out of here. Imagine this falling from the Duke's hands after decades down in a mine. I didn't even read it, so I have no idea. I'm glad she read it that quick. Alright, so we're in neutral territory. There's some delicious food on the ground. For some reason, over here in the corner. All right, so this uh, is. Never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. Let's go. Uh, this is probably like one of the checkpoints. This door was sealed by order of the Duke. He or maybe not. Cherry Jindosh build a special lock. Came to see the infamous Jindosh lock. Oh, the Jindosh lock. The hell is this? So you pretty much just have to guess like the right set of stuff. There's only like five things here. If someone really wanted to spend enough time on this, they could just flip these until the door eventually opened, right? What the hell is this shit? The Jindosh riddle. At the dinner party where Lady Winslow, Dr. Marcola, Countess Conti, Madame Nazio, and Baroness Finch. The women sat in the... Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna have to read this too to like... This is probably what helps you open the fucking door. So maybe if you can figure out the riddle yourself, you can just walk in. Otherwise, you have to go help... I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can just walk in just fine. If I knew the answer or I solved the riddle without helping these two. Or I'm not sure if I have to go help one of them first and then. I don't know, let's read this real quick. This is going to take a couple minutes, but. The women sat in a row. They were, all wore different colors and Dr. Marcola wore a jaunty blue hat. Natsuo, or however you say her name, uh, was at the far left next to the guest wearing a purple jacket. Hold on, let's see. They all wore different colors. Marcola wore a jaunty blue hat. You would think there's probably like a hat here somewhere. There's a metal, there's like, what is this? That caviar? I don't know what the fuck that is. 
There's no jaunty blue hat here at all. Yeah, and these are like the names of everyone. Uh, you probably have to read that, get certain clues. Oh, I didn't mean to close that. Fuck. Why would he have the riddle? Like, why would they put the riddle just outside the door? I don't know. Video game logic. All right, let's just read the whole thing in full. Uh, she was at the far left next to the guest wearing a purple jacket. The lady in red sat left of someone in white. I remember that red outfit because the woman spilled her whiskey all over it. The traveler from Dunwall was dressed entirely in green. When one of the dinner guests bragged about her diamond, the woman next to her said that they were finer in Dunwall where she lived. Son of a bitch. This is like the worst game of fucking Clue ever. Like, who done it? It was Baroness Finch with the diamond in the dinner room. So Baroness Finch showed off a prize snuff tin at which the lady from Daba Dabak what the hell is this? Whatever that is, scoff saying it was no match for her bird pendant. Someone else carried a valuable war medal, and when she saw it, the visitor from Freyport next to her almost spilled her neighbor's beard. Lady Winslow raised her absinthe in toast. The lady from Bailton, full of wine, jumped up onto the table, falling onto the guest in the center seat, spilling the poor woman's rum. Then Countess Conti captivated them all with a story about her wild youth in Karnaka. In the morning, there were four heirlooms under the table, the diamond, ring, the bird pendant, and the war medal, but who owned each? And that is the fucking question. Good fucking God. Alright, so I'm guessing... I'm guessing this is probably right. I'm guessing Natsuyu, whatever her name is, uh, is probably there. Oh, man. I should really just go, like, help these people and see if they'll just open the door for me, because I'm not going to figure this shit out. I'm never going to figure this out. I would have to, like, sit here and, like... This would, this would be helpful if I had, like, a sheet of paper in front of me and, like, a pen to write this shit down and, like, just kind of figure shit out. Because I'm never going to be able to figure this shit out just, like, reading it over and over again. I'm going to I'm gonna lose track of what I'm doing and then I'm never going to remember. The lady in red sat left of someone in white. Baroness Finch showed off her prized snuff tin. Whoever, uh... Oh, man. Fuck this shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna go over here. God damn it. I hate these riddles. Oh, no. Is it gonna get dusty again? I'll hide under here. Man, it's getting really loud. Yeah, here comes the dust. There it is. I'm kind of hoping it just goes away after a while. Like, the other one kind of seemed to go away after a while. Is this an enemy right here? I think the storm's passed. Oh, no trespassing. Oh, is there, there's a black market down here. The soup is only for the workers and their families. Were a good job. The soup's only for the workers and their families, damn it. No one gets fired for being injured. Yeah, so they say. The mining office handled things like that. And the family committee made sure that the bosses never got too greedy. Kind of a stalemate. Everything worked. So on one side, they went out of the other. Alright, so I don't really know who I want to help. I don't... We go to Crone's Hand Saloon, or where's the other place we're trying to go to? Overseer Outpost. Which would probably be right here. You know, I'm probably just going to go and, like, kill all these dudes over here. I don't even need that. Alright, before I, like, super go away, let me see if I can find this black market. I'm, I'm already about to just not go to the black market for, like, no reason. Oh, here we go. What do you think you're doing there? Who the fuck's this? Get your ass out of here if you know what's good for you. You fucking sick. Get out of here. What are you? Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Hold on a second here. There we go. Got some health now. Oh shit, man. These guys are actually kind of strong. There. Not strong against my pistol. Alright, that was almost actually really bad. Are more people coming to fight me? I don't know what they were. Oh, he closed shop. He closed it. Oh, shit. I should probably just die, right? I should probably just, you know, get killed. Alright. <laughs> I was hoping he would reward me. Apparently, I'm just dead standing up, too. Aw, oh, man. Well, it, the good news is that I didn't accomplish anything because I sat there looking at that riddle for, like, I don't know, seven minutes or something. And the only thing I managed to figure out was pretty much what they bluntly told me. was that, that the woman with the weird end name was on the far left. And that was, I think, about all I figured out. So, I'm just glad that I really didn't do anything. Unfortunately, where are we getting sent back to? Uh, just right here. All right, this is great. All right, so this time I'm not gonna piss these guys off. What do you think you're doing? Can I talk to them? Out of here if you know what's good for you. If I just stay here, they probably attack me, don't they? Can I just like walk behind him and just talk to him? Ah, oh, you fucking! Why are these people assholes? Finally know your place. All I tried to do is talk to the black market guy, and they just will have none of it. Damn it. I wish I could talk to them and just figure out, like, why they're mad and why they won't let me in there. Apparently, I'm just not going to be able to use the black market right now. These guys are blocking me from using it at all. I can't kill them. The black market guy runs away. I can't just sneak past them. Well, I didn't even really try to sneak past. I just kind of like walked past them. Well, I don't know. Years ago, the mines were a good job. Give me a hand. What do you think you're doing? It's over here. Yeah, you know what? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there's a, like a there's a dial here. You know, I don't feel like sitting around. If I was, if I wasn't recording this, I would probably either a look it up, or b more likely like screw around with the dial until I eventually just got like lucky, and it let me in. Right now, apparently, I'm not doing anything. I'm not getting into anywhere. Wanna buy one? Oh, do they leave? I think they just fucking left. All right, whatever. It works out for me. I got four new upgrades, the instant sleep dart, a magnetized bullet, briefly disrupts clockwork soldiers, that could be really fucking good, an armored bullet, this and chain lightning. Off customers. That was interesting. Ah, you want blueprints for better weaponry. No whale meat this week either. Ugh, at this rate. One upgrade required for this stuff. For these, uh, like, master work. Probably won't be doing anything with that stuff right now. Those blueprints didn't look super great. So I have 1,400 money. I should probably buy a bunch of these. Because you know I'm going to need it. Uh, all this stuff is full. Don't need it. I don't need it. Don't need it. <laughs> This Ooh, a map! I'm gonna take. I'm gonna buy that shit. Is that really it? Oh wow, this black market was a little this. Well, I got a map. Come back if you need something. Assuming I haven't been burned alive by the Abbey or gutted by Paolo's gang. Yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, not this time. All right, so I'm probably just gonna go over here and just fuck this these people up. I can't believe this. I've Careful lived in this district sword. for most of my life. Won't like it. If you believe this to be an inconvenience, weigh it against losing your life to one of the Howlers. Now go. I doubt I can help you, whatever you want. Alright, apparently no one wants to help me out here. 